नमस्ते आय एम वैद्य प्रफुल्लता प्रशांत सुरू आय वेलकम यू ऑल इन द चॅनल डॉक्टर सुरू आयुर्वेदिक क्लिनिक इन दिस सिरीज ऑफ पांचभौतिक चिकित्सा टुडे आय बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट अँड थॉट बिहाइंड दिस पांचभौतिक चिकित्सा सो दॅट यू विल अंडरस्टँड द बॅलन्सिंग ऑफ पंचमहाभूता इन बेटर वे वी ऑल नो दॅट पृथ्वी दॅट इज अर्थ आप दॅट इज वॉटर तेज दॅट इज फायर वायू दॅट इज एअर अँड आकाश दॅट इज इथर ऑर स्पेस आर फाईव्ह ग्रॉस एलिमेंट्स इन दिस देर आर टू डिफरंट ग्रुप्स वन ग्रुप कन्सिस्ट ऑफ पृथ्वी अँड आप महाभूत अँड अनदर ग्रुप कन्सिस्ट ऑफ वायू अँड आकाश महाभूत these two groups are exactly opposite in their properties and action and tej mahabhut acts like a fulcrum which balances these two groups so let's understand it better prithvi and aap mahabhut are of santarpan urth group that means they are responsible for constructive metabolism that is anabolism so when there is growth these mahabhutas are at their peak for example in childhood when the growth and development is very important these two mahabhutas are prominent in the body on the other hand vayu and akash are responsible for destructive metabolism that is catabolism that is they are responsible for apatarpan apatarpan means to reduce to decrease to make it lessen so here these mahabhutas are prominent at higher ages that is in old age now let's come to the tej mahabhut tej mahabhut acts as a fulcrum in the seesaw it balances it it is responsible for proper metabolism that is maintaining the balance in these mahabhutas when the tej mahabhut that is agni is in proper condition the person is swastha all the five mahabhutas are balanced and that stage of the body is where there is health on the other hand if agni is disturbed the whole balance is disturbed a person is diseased it has vyadhi and tej mahabhut is extremely important to maintain this balance so the condition of agni decides how the body is going to be and that's why the science in ayurved about medicine is called as kaya chikitsa kaya nama agni means this is the treatment this is the chikitsa of the agni in the body this panchavati concept is used in four important stages one to understand the hetu that is cause or etiology of the disease to understand samprapti that is pathogenesis of the disease to decide the chikitsa that is treatment part to understand the sadhya sadhyatva that is prognosis of the disease let's understand how vyadhi occurs in the body it is said yatra sanga kha vaigunya vyadhi tatro pajayate that means wherever there is a problem in kha that is akash that is the space that is a vacuum that is a srotas wherever there is a problem vyadhi occurs when we call kha vaigunya that is any deformity in akash mahabhut who will be responsible for that deformity other four mahabhutas now to understand this concept of kha vaigunya let's take an example if we take example of nasa that is a nasal cavity a uh, nasal cavity has a space it is akash mahabhut so if there is any polyp or any growth in that nasal cavity it is that prithvi have occupied the akash when a person gets running nose that is there are watery secretions in the nose that akash is disturbed by ap mahabhut now 
when a person gets any inflammation, redness, hot touch, that means Teja Mahabhut has occupied the Akash Mahabhut or Teja Mahabhut have disturbed the situation of Akash Mahabhut. Now, if a person has got lot of sneezing or extra moments or there is deviated nasal septum, these all things occur due to disturbance in Vayu Mahabhut and increased Vayu Mahabhut occupying Akash Mahabhut. So this way, when all the balance is disturbed, it is the disease or Vyadi. And be sure, this Vyadi, this disease is always corrected with Agni, that is Tej Mahabhut. This is basic concept. You can apply it anywhere, everywhere, so that you will be able to understand Panchabhuti Chikitsa as a whole. In next video, we will understand the chronological order of these Mahabhutas in evolution as well as in destruction. Then, stay fit, stay healthy with Dr. Suru Ayurvedic Clinic.